luxury apartments to single family homes, Greater Downtown Cleveland continues to be a very popular place to live and historical buildings have been converted into residences while others are being built from the ground up. And our very own Carmen Blackwell looks at whether this housing demand will continue and this morning's Mission Possible. Downtown is both our front door as well as the living room for the region. Whether it's tourism or companies looking to relocate, the first stop in Northeast Ohio is downtown Cleveland. For years, developers have dangled luxury lifestyle with a view. But how many apartments can downtown support? We don't have a demand problem, we have a supply problem. There's plenty of demand, uh, we need more supply. That's the consensus of a housing study by the Downtown Cleveland Alliance and Greater Cleveland Partnership. While parts of the city are losing residents, Downtown's population is growing, up 22% from 10 years ago, making this a hot market. I think it's a signal that the demand is absolutely there to developers and investors. We need more apartments, but we also need more for sale housing throughout downtown and greater downtown. Developers like Burgess Home Performance see the need. They are finishing West 20th and Smith, a 14-home project on Duck Island. That's where Cleveland, Tremont, and Ohio City converge. It's just a hot spot to be, and you know you might not uh, you might not know it from the outside just looking in, but once you once you live here, you know you understand why. Burgess builds custom homes, which the study says is needed. At only six percent, Cleveland trails behind cities like Cincinnati, Columbus, and. And Detroit in downtown home ownership. I'm a small builder. We're doing 12 to 24 houses a year. And so the demand is plenty sufficient for our operation. We're selling two per month. I think we sold three this week, actually. So. The population growth over the next decade means housing projects currently in the pipeline would need to nearly double to keep up with demand. But building takes time. Burgess has been working on this project for seven years. We can't react quickly to demand shifts. We just have to speculate half the time on, on when this demand is coming or going. Downtown living is attracting residents and not just because of a job. The study found half of the population travel outside the city for work. That to me was the biggest surprise is that they're choosing to live in downtown and greater downtown because of the neighborhood, because of the amenities, the lifestyle that they're seeking, not because of proximity to work. Both organizations believe a strong downtown translates into a stronger region with signs pointing to a brighter future. The report sends a very validating signal that we've created that kind of environment in downtown Cleveland. We need to double down on it and, and really complete that transformation. Carmen Blackwell, 3 News. And over. 37,000 people called downtown Cleveland in near West Side home, which in the it was what the area study looked at. And it is get this guys the fastest growing residential downtown in the state of Ohio. No wow. surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think folks know at work and even some of those at home right now watching. I live downtown mm -hmm. and I adore it. I think that there are times where there are pros and cons to living in a city, but to have everything at the disposal of which we yeah. have available to right. us and what can be available to others at almost a similar, I don't know, uh, not cost, but yeah, location, all mm -hmm. of the above. I mean, we've got all the sporting events too that people yeah. can get to. Oh, yeah. And then I think, you know, you bring people into these spots and then new businesses pop up. Right. I mean, I think we've talked about Tremont and Ohio City time and time again. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like every week something pops up there. But I think even more of that would continue to happen. Absolutely. Some of these living quarters then have spots underneath them as well mm -hmm. where there are maker spaces. Yeah. People invite Co-working spaces. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. I love those. So many of them have I that now. Those. Yeah. It's just beautiful to be down there. I, I just feel like a city girl, like <laughs> <I'm> looking. <laughs> I just feel very fancy. I mean, to be close to the water too, there, oh, there's something about that. Now I am not exact in the study, but yeah. there is one out there that says living closer to the water makes your mental health overall yes. a little bit better too. It is clinically proven to reduce stress and anxiety living by a body of water. And that we go there, take my daughter there, and Aww. we just go out and just sit and just it's watch. And it's just like a little bit of peace. Ah. Yes, a little bit of peace, slice of heaven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always love to see development here in the Cleveland area. That's right. Well, a mobile